Hey, how's it going? Today I will show you the easy way how you can get Whoop Layer Pro to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. So first of all, you have to get an app called Loader. You can get it for free from your official Amazon App Store or a Google Play Store, depending on your device. To do so, you just have to go to search on your device to the App Store. Here it is, click on it. And here in the search bar, just start typing the Loader. And here, as you can see, it already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. So click on the loader, and that's the application which you need to download to your device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet, we still have to set it up. And to do so, we'll go to settings, so click on the home button on your remote, and now let's go to the settings. So click on that button with the gear icon, and then scroll down until you see My Fire TV. Click on it. And here we have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now what you have to do is click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see now the button for me it says no need, you are already developer, that's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options which have appeared right here. Open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and here turn that option on for the loader. So what it does is going to allow us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on your device. Here it is, click on it. And here we have the loader app, which we just got to our Fire Stick. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I can recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great application for Fire Sticks or pretty much any other device you may have, and they're not expensive for such a premium service. In a VPN application, you just connect to any server, let's say Australia, and from the moment you connect, all your internet traffic is going to be encrypted. It means nobody is going to be able to track you or snoop on you online. And it also means that your internet provider won't be able to know what videos you're watching online or what applications you are installing. And that's extremely important if you wish to stay out of trouble online. And if you are interested in getting a VPN, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video, you'll get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free. So go get those 4 months for free and then use the loader safely. And now let's finally open the loader app. Here on the left side menu, make sure to select home. And then in the search bar, we'll have to enter a code, which is going to be 327187 and then click on go. And now the load is going to start. Usually that doesn't take long. Then click on install in the right bottom corner. And after the app has been installed, do not press and open yet, instead click on done, because here we have an option to delete the installation file, as we don't need it anymore. So click on delete, and then delete once again. Now let's go back to the list of apps on your device. Here it is, click on it. Then scroll down, and here you'll find Whoop Layer. First of all, I recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the bottom three horizontal lines. And then click on move to front. This way, the player app is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore it's going to be very easy to access it every time you need it. Then once again don't forget to use a VPN to stay private and out of trouble online, and once again a link to a special offer for NordVPN is going to be in the pinned comment below this video. Then you can safely open the player application. You have to allow access here because otherwise the app is not going to work. And then you'll see that you can either manage your playlist by visiting the website of vooplayer.pro or scan the QR code with your mobile phone to add a playlist. Once again, the Vooplayer itself is just a media player and to get a playlist you have to obtain it from your service provider. There are thousands of different live TV providers in the world, so it's totally up to you which one to choose. And then after you add your playlist, you can either go to the live TV on the app, movies, series, catch up, you can change playlist here and add a new playlist or go to the settings and here you'll find quite a bunch of different settings. 
such as parental controls, external player, here you'll be able to hide some series categories or movie categories, clear the history of your movies or series, change the settings for subtitles, or even the language of your application. So pretty much that's it, that's how you can easily get Woo player to your Fire Stick. If the video was helpful, make sure to click on the like button and see you next time. Bye bye.